Hello, fellow potatoes. I'm Potato Sports. Welcome back to another video. So I was just sitting. I was I was walking around my house, right? I'm working on the interior right now. It's coming out pretty cool. And then I was kind of like, wait, I have a YouTube channel. And then I was like, wait, I haven't uploaded in three months. You know how many weeks three months is? That's like 12 weeks. Anyway, I decided to make an upload today. We're going to be able to go over housing redstone because I'm working so much with redstone in this new house. I made this potato race completely out of redstone and I made this before I knew that repeaters work so there's a lot of unnecessary things and it's all confusing and stuff but I'm learning a lot so I thought I would share it with you guys so let's get started also leave a comment because I don't know if anyone still watched my videos leave a comment saying what what videos you want me to make and stuff all right now here I've laid out every redstone component available in housing up here are the ones that work and down here are the ones that only sort of work or don't work at all now right here repeaters didn't work until very recently and hoppers are a bit glitchy they get stuck a lot but even so I still use them I probably shouldn't all the pressure plates are also functional the weighted pressure plates work as they're supposed to and comparators work but they can only detect if there are items inside of something they cannot do subtract mode or anything like that. This is all as of the time I'm making this video. So this could all have changed tomorrow. Anyway, things like droppers, dispensers, they do not drop items, nor do they drop water or anything else. Although a dropper into a hopper does work for who knows what reason. The tripwire hook, I think this would work, but there's no string in housing, so it doesn't. It's kind of weird how they would put tripwire hooks and then not, not give us any string. Levers work, they can only be operated by owners. Iron trapdoors aren't affected by redstone, but you can open and close them just manually. Detector rails just don't work, and daylight sensors just, just don't work. And that's pretty much all we got. Here's a list of everything that works and everything that doesn't as of now. And redstone torches, they turn off, but they never turn back on ever again. So how do you make a redstone torch if there are no redstone torches? This right here is my favorite design. If the lever is on, then the output is off. If the lever is off, then the output is on. This redstone block on piston is also how we used to make repeaters before repeaters worked. Anyway, so that's the general overview of housing redstone. And now I'm going to go more in depth and show you guys how I create some of the games and some of the cues that we have in the house. Alright, now to make a mini game, I always start with a queue line or a capsule. So this lever is essentially the start of the game. A player walks in and closes it off to other players, so only one player allowed per capsule. And they can always just walk out right here if they please. And it really is just one pressure plate, one redstone dust and one piston. Now if we were to make a race, we would repeat this two times over. Then there are other ways to do it, but I like having my blocks out of the ceiling, or else you, had, you have to redesign this bottom part. And there you have starting capsules for a 1v1 race. All right, now that we have two capsules, we need to make sure that when two people are stepping in it, the game starts and nobody else can come in while the game is running. And then when they reach the end and hit a pressure plate, the game resets itself. So again, there's lots of ways to do an AND gate. What you can have is just pistons with redstone blocks on the front, a redstone line out and into the brains of your machine. All right, so my favorite way of keeping track if the game is running or not is a dropper into dropper system. So essentially I just make a mess of redstone dust. You want an AND gate into a NOT gate into the droppers. Then of course place any item into that dropper. Then to close off the entrance, just have a comparator running out of this dropper with a repeater and redstone dust into another repeater there. Then what we need to do is we need to make the signal travel all the way up here, which, I mean, there's no better way I know how to do it than just make a spiral. Because slime, blo slime blocks do not work as they're supposed to. So this is my solution for now. And then just make a pressure plate on top of this dropper right here to reset the game when they go out the exit of the race. Oh, and we need a knot gate up here just to make sure they are down when they are supposed to be down. And that is pretty much everything. So you can get in a capsule, prevents other people from getting in, you can walk out, no problem. And if two people get in, the game starts, the blocks are raised, you can get off, do the race. The race is locked, so no one else can join while there are people racing. After they're finished, 
the first one to finish steps on this pressure plate and the game is reset. You can make more complicated system here with, with counting the amount of players that finish to make sure all four finish, but this I've found is the easiest way to do it. And it breaks the least often because a lot of people disconnect in the middle of the race. And although it's really messy, that, that's kind of how you make a simple race game. Leave a like if you want to see more redstone tutorials. I suck at redstone tutorials, but if I do more I'll probably get better. This is like the least compact it can possibly be. But essentially we just made this game right here. It's almost the exact same circuitry, just mirrored two times over. Yeah, and that's it. There's a lot more space in this house for me to build, so leave suggestions in the comments of what you want me to build with redstone. That block. I guess has to be there. Because I wanna fill this place with redstone contraptions and redstone games, because they are so fun to make. Anyway, I'm sorry for not uploading for three months, but hope you like the video. Bye!